Hey everyone, Mature Simmer here. So, welcome back to Generational Farming. Uh, I was worried I was off. I was hoping. I was like, it'll be close enough, it'll let me connect. And it'll correct my error. I'm still not sure this is good. Alright, thank goodness. So, I am on here in November. And the goal is to start moving things out of the silo and selling it. So the silos have been stopped because of capacity for a bit. Basically they were already full when I got on in October yesterday to go ahead and mow the grass and collect it up and so forth. So I did do all the collecting and everything was done yesterday but I wanted to make sure and jump in tonight. Again, it's gonna it's kinda making it a pretty late night, just trying to keep up with everything else in life. But I did not want to let the day go by without doing what I need here because otherwise I just back myself up because I've got over five hundred thousand sitting in everything so even coming in as late as I did here like I've lost 12 hours where things could have been running which is gonna be you know like a 70,000 liter per silo delay because that's about what we get on a half day but again it just became one of those things that I just had too many other things going on and I couldn't do it so we are here doing what we can. So the goal is to at least clear out enough that these things can run for a bit because again the next few days prices do keep rising and so there is a bit of an incentive to wait but what I don't want to do is then have the silo not be able to produce. So I think at a minimum I want to get four loads out of each silo. That'll basically give me 140,000. Probably just to be safe should do five in case I get in here really late tomorrow. But if I get in that late tomorrow, something's really, really long, wrong. Because as I said, this is pretty late as it is. I'm coming up on midnight here and it's just the motivation of doing the right thing and keeping this competition going properly that is getting me to power through this but this is a bit of the challenge that we've got with the work that is required even at this smaller pace with generational farming there's just a lot of activity that goes on So yeah, I think I'll do five per, so that means we're going to get 15 loads. And as you can see, it takes a bit of time. Most of it is the filling of the silage, as opposed to the emptying of it here at the cell point. And we're getting basically $7,300 in in the load for each load here. So as I said, you can see we're at 532, 533, 544. Stave silo 2 is what, what I'm working on here and emptying it out. Taking a check of where we stand compared to our neighbors. Right now, nobody's done anything that is making me wonder, hmm, what happened there? So the amounts are reasonable per what I've seen. So I think there's been a little bit with that additional farm that bought an additional piece of property that bought field 10. They've made some sort of income. Could have been contracts, could have been sales of crop or something like that. Not sure. But it's about a hundred thousand dollar change since they bought the field. But 
you know, the nice thing is, again, with how grass works, we can generate cash almost at will if we want. But once again, um, I am hitting a wall of the reality of just being able to to produce and, and get in enough. Otherwise, it go it's it hits that the danger point of as I talked about where my only farming simulator play is this, and that is not what I'm looking for this to become. So it's not going to happen. So I want to take a look. So we're at 182, so that's respectable. You know, not as high as we can be, but certainly far far better than the one. 46 or 47 that we saw at one point that I tried desperately to not sell to and which I really didn't. I think we did a little bit in that space, but it was very, very little. So, um, well, and I, that's not accurate, quite accurate. I think it was still several hundred thousand, but we did as little as we could is really what I should be saying. So, this is the fourth load here off of Stave Silo 2. And then we'll be doing the fifth, and then I'll just go to another one. But this will get us, you know, if we got 15, it's seven ish a piece. It's going to get us over $100,000 just for clearing things out for a day. So, it kind of gives you perspective of what it takes and you know it, this doesn't take terribly long in time because it's probably been five minutes or so and you know we've got 35,000 once I get this trailer over and we'll already have that so beyond that um, I have not yet fertilized, I have not limed, those are activities that are going to need to take place today, or today, uh, before the spring, but I've got a few days to do those things, likely just to try to avoid any problems, what I really should be doing is I should attack that tomorrow, so uh, you'll likely see something on that. Uh, at this point, given how late things are, um, well, no, actually I'm not sure that the video is going to post because I'm processing some other things. I was going to say there, there may in essence end up being two generational farming videos because of that, because uh, this one's so late that I don't know that I'm going to have an ability to get it ready and get it out there. But that's the update for November. There's not anything else going on. It's just basically clearing enough space, but finally starting the sales for the tail end of the year. So, pretty happy with where we've ended up. I think we're going to be in an excellent state monetarily, and we'll be in a great spot to line up and get ourselves going in year five here in Nordwest Mecklenburg. That's always a tongue twister for me. But hope you've enjoyed everything that's been going on and this little update here, and I'll see you next time.